Hello and welcome to the third episode of Fun Fan Theories, a series where I share my creative theories to you guys on the internet of proper franchises, shows, movies, and certain things that might be connected with each other or things that might not be canned but could feel canned to this universe or something. And yeah, that's pretty much Fun Fan Theories in a nutshell, but... So, let's get on with episode 3. So, like episode 2, I made a video saying the original MCU where I discussed, like, that there was originally going to be a different MCU, and I still believe that they were all connected while it was never confirmed that they were, like, together. But I still believe that all those movies I mentioned are in continuity with each other. They just never crossed over. And I say something similar as with the DC universe, as you see right here. Of course, we got the DCU because that's the DC Cinematic Universe. And we got the Nolan verse, which is the Nolan trilogy, all connected with each other. I was going to put Superman Returns there, but Superman Returns is actually the fifth film in the Christopher Reeve Superman series. So, yeah, it's better off with that. And I have Earth 66, where pretty much I have all the campy versions of the DC universe live action movies like Superman the Molten Men the very first Superman movie actually and Batman 66 and um that one um sh Just League sh two episode Just League miniseries with the Flash it had an almost Batman so it was in continuity with that universe and that old Wonder Woman movie the TV movie the one where she's blonde and not the actress from the 70s like that Wonder Woman and I would say that woman is also in the same universe and George V Superman is also so I say Earth 66 is that universe too Okay, so I you notice how I skipped um the Earth eighty nine. So, cause I want this is the this is what I want to talk about the most Earth eighty nine. So yeah. So now we're talking about Earth eighty nine. I call it Earth eighty nine because in the Infinite Crisis um episode, there's shown of an Earth name Earth eighty nine that references Tim Burton's Batman. I know that Bram Ralph Superman, the same Superman as Christopher Reeve Superman, is in a different Earth, but I like to think that that was a different version of Bram Ralph Superman, and that this Superman, Chris Reeve Superman, is in the same continuity with Tim Burton's Batman, so I call it Earth-89, and this universe started off with Superman the movie, Superman 2, Swamp Thing by Wes Craven in 1982, Superman 3, Supergirl, because that's a spinoff to the Chris Reeve Superman movies, Superman 4, The Quest for Feet, the Quest for Peace, Batman 89, The Return of Swamp Thing, Batman Returns, Batman Forever, Batman Robin, Steel. Yes, I, I put Steel on this list because it was around that time, and I think it best if it fits this universe because we need more characters than just Batman and Superman. Catwoman, yes, it has for Catwoman movie because this film is actually canned to the Tim Burton movies. It's just, it's a different Catwoman character because Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman had a, there was a picture of her of other Catwoman. So, I don't know, it's just some stupid shit. So, yeah, this is in continuity with the Tim Burton verse, sadly. And Superman Returns, which is the final piece of this universe. I actually was going to add two more things. I was going to add two TV shows. Um, the 1970s Wonder Woman show, I'd like say that that show's in continuity with. Um, this universe, and same with John's Wesley Ship's Flash show, the 90s Flash show. I would say those two shows are set in the same universe as Earth 89 with Chris Reeves Superman and Tim Burns Batman, because I think that's a cool set for the Justice League of this universe. And we got like Steel and Catwoman, well, this Catwoman now, and Swamp Thing and Superman, of course. So yeah, it'd be pretty cool if, in my opinion. So yeah, um, that's really why I wanted to start this video because for Earth 89 to like set up everything for like the Chris Reeves Superman movies, the Tim Burns Batman movies, and the John's Wesley Ship Flash show and the 70s Wonder Woman show and the Swamp Thing movies etc so this is the biggest one I think and probably the only one really and the thing is that in Batman and Robin yeah that movie there's a th scene where Robin says I want a car chicks did the car and then Batman says this is why Superman works alone and at first as a little kid I didn't think that this movie was in continuity with the Burn movies because different actors so I thought every actor in a different in a Batman movie was a different film like it was all a reboot but no apparently all four films are connected which as a little kid I was shocked but I don't get how I didn't know that at the time because you know, because because of the different actors and Michael Keaton wasn't there nor Tim Burton so yeah but the same actor as Robin was there so yeah they're all in continuity just different actors each new film pretty much so um yeah, Superman was referenced, and of course you might think, well, it's probably a different Superman because Nicholas K. Superman film didn't happen yet, so Tim Burns' Superman film could have been that version of Superman, but that film was never made, and this Superman, the Superman that, at the live action Superman at the time was Christopher Reeve Superman, Brandon Ralph Superman wasn't um, introduced yet, but he was the same Superman in the original film, so yeah, that goes to show that this Superman he referenced was the Christopher Reeve Superman. 
And the other topic I mentioned earlier was in the Cowan movie, which I have not saw by her. It's one of the worst movies ever made. At least one of the worst superhero movies ever made. But it's really bad what I've heard. It's one of the worst movies ever made. And I think the director of this movie probably stopped making movies after this. I checked what kind of movies he made, and I haven't seen him made one since Catwoman. So... Yeah, maybe that was a good decision, my guy. But, um, so, and when she's looking over the previous Catwomans, there's a photo of Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman, and this kind of let people believe that this Catwoman film was in the same universe as the Tim Burton Batman movies, and the Chris Reed Superman movies, and the Supergirl movies. So, pretty much, each of the Superman movies, like, they each had five, well, technically six films, where Superman had five, uh, six, if you include Supergirl, because that's in continuity, and Batman had five, including this film, so he probably would have had a sixth film with that cancelled Batman Robin sequel, Batman Triumphant, or Batman Unchained, or whatever it was called, and, yeah, so pretty much, yeah, and some of you might say, like, maybe that was just a little fun Easter egg, maybe it's not continuity, well, no, it probably is, because, again, it's a different Catwoman character, so, you can't, you have had a possibility, but I like to say that, sadly, that this film is in continuity with the Tim Burton Batman movies, because they were talking about Catwoman's spinoff, and they decided to have this as the final decision, for some reason. They should have won the Michelle Pfeiffer Catwoman film, but that got canceled the moment Batman and Robin hit, not Batman and Robin, Batman Forever hit theaters. And that's all I could really find of these movies being in continuity with each other. I'm sure there wasn't enough for, like, you know, like for this and there was a lot more for the marvel one where you had a feeling that these movies were secretly connected without fans knowing and they still were even though it never happened and i kind of believe the same thing with these movies but i don't think it was as the same way because with the infinite crisis event i kind of feel like the more i thought about this i'm like mm, maybe it's not because batman 89 is has on earth earth 89 and this superman is the same brand ralph superman so we saw that superman in the infinite crisis event so i know I mentioned earlier that's probably a different version, but now I'm thinking about it. Maybe it is the same version. And the Flash from the show, what John's Wiley's well, show is Earth 90 Flash. So who knows? Maybe there's two versions of them. Maybe the same, maybe that it was just that, maybe it was just a different one where the Batman films weren't in continuity. So who knows? Maybe Earth 89 has a Chris Reeves Superman and a John's Wiley ship Flash in that universe. Who knows, really? But yeah, I'm sorry if this is one of my weaker episodes of Fun Fan Theories. And. But the reason is I had plans for just the first three episodes, and I haven't planned for the other episodes yet. I kind of want to do another episode. I have plans for it, but I'm not sure what it's going to be about. But yeah, I think I'll come back with a Hallowed Made video or discussing my opinion on the X-Men show coming back.